plastics are everywhere. Just take a look around my office and what do you find? Here's a vinyl mat, or polyvinyl chloride to be exact, with foam rubber on the back so it doesn't slip. Foam rubber is an airy kind of polyurethane plastic and it's everywhere too. Like in this seat cushion of my chair and the padding under the rug. The adhesive sticking these layers together is probably an epoxy, another kind of plastic. Acrylics, acetates, nylons, polyesters, polyethylenes, and polystyrenes. The list of plastics goes on and on. According to Waste Online, nearly 100 million tons of plastics are produced each year. Most pens nowadays are made of plastics. Old time pens were made of feathers, which held the ink. At least those were compostable at the end of their life. But what am I supposed to do when the ink runs out of this disposable pen? Well, I pull mine apart and then I can recycle the tubes and the caps. But I just gotta toss out these into the trash. Did you know that almost 100% of plastics are recyclable, but only 7% of plastics are recycled in the U.S.? Only half of the communities in the U.S. have recycling programs. Now, this computer's mostly made of plastic parts, and luckily here in Oregon, we can recycle our computers, monitors, and TVs in the e-waste program. I can take old cables and wiring to Far West Fibers. They'll strip the copper from the plastic casings. Let's see, file trays, this floor mat, that uh, plastic coated binding, those CDs, those cassette cases, uh, that little coaster there. I got that for doing something spectacular where I used to work. I don't remember what. No, 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 not that award. That's glass. It was from a classic ballroom competition. I had the second place stickers on the back. It's hard to avoid plastics altogether but I can make better decisions about it. For example, I keep a few name tags handy to reuse. I especially like this one. It was made just for me. It has my favorite colors on it. I opt for products that have less plastic packaging if I have a choice. And I leave plastic hangers at the store so that they can reuse them. I avoid buying anything with these plastic green bindings. And if you have any of them, then clip the rings. That way you can avoid any kind of animal entanglement. It's unbelievable how we still mismanage our trash and kill countless birds, fish, and other wildlife with plastics. Don't get me started. Durable plastic containers are great for food storage, but if you buy a container with something that's not food, then don't reuse it for food. It's not likely food grade plastic and therefore chemical compounds can leach into the food. Plastic containers made for only one use should only be used once. Otherwise, those polymers can break down and seep into the food or water like this bottle. I try not to buy any of those in the first place. Instead of using plastic wrap, which gets tossed after a single use, I store almost all my food in lidded containers. If I do use wrap, well then I clean it after I use it and I recycle it at a grocery store with other filmy plastic bags. They're the same kind of resin. For anything acidic, I store that in glass containers. Acid can etch plastic, and you guessed it, that can leach into your food. Yeesh, this is ready to recycle. I don't use plastic dishes in the microwave either. The concern is chemicals leaching out due to the high heat. I use glass dishes instead. I bought these glass lids real cheap at a thrift store for glass bowls that I already had. Shh, don't tell anybody. But when I don't feel like cooking, I heat up a frozen entree like this, one that has a paper container, not plastic. I wish these were compostable after I was done. But I can recycle this plastic outer layer, and this company does use a recyclable frozen box. That's nice. For picnics, I use durable plastics, not paper plates and plastic forks that are tossed out into the trash and wind up in the landfill. My friend, Dr. Judith, is a no one nonstick gal. She's concerned about the perfluorooctanoic acid. You say that three times, otherwise known as C8. It's a chemical that's used to bind the nonstick coating to the metal. Most research shows that it's best just to be cautious. 
use non-stick pots and pans only on low temperatures and just get rid of it as soon as it's scratched or if you see any signs of the coating wearing off. I prefer these metal clad copper bottom pans. This is one of my dad's pans from way back when. When plastic credit cards make it in through junk mail, well, I just cut them up into my plastic pile for recycling. Most of the plastics that can't be recycled curbside in the metro area can be recycled at Farbus Fibers. Two simple sorts. Filmy, you know, plastic wrap and bags. And the other for all this rigid plastic stuff. How easy is that? And by the way, no more disposable plastic pens for me. I only invest in refillables. I'm Jean Bauman, bringing you the tools to be sustainable today. I'm an everyday gal, making my everyday choices count. And you can too. Hmm, I wonder where this came from. I don't mean to keep the pens that I borrow. Is this one yours?